Coast.tv, we find ourselves here with Lee Weaver. Uh, we covered not too long ago his play The Witness, which was a smashing hit among the community, and he's still performing that uh, play. But he has a new piece of work. Well, it's not new. He's played it before. It's kind of new because it's come back after a period of a couple of years that it's been dormant. And uh, tell us a little bit about it there, Lee. Well, I wrote it, I think, about four years ago. And uh, you can't live in St. Augustine for long before you're just uh, taken with all of the history. And it just seemed natural for me to try to, to do something, say something about that history. So I wrote this play, I call it Piercing the Darkness. And it's the story of Florida, particularly St. Augustine from 1513 when Ponce de Leon came to La Florida uh, until the present and three characters, I play all three of them, they tell the story. The first fella is Captain Bob, he's a bewhiskered fella who uh, rents suspenders on a floppy hat and he tells the old stories about Ponce and Menendez and he tells all of the 17th century and then the Civil War in the uh, 19th and uh, all the way up and then uh, in the second act uh, Captain Baxter appears. He's got a U.S. Coast Guard uh, uniform on and he's sort of a rigid fellow with his own set of peculiarities that I'm hoping the audience might find humorous and he tells the more uh, modern story of Florida. But you see all of the stories from 1513 to the present are being seen through the eyes of lighthouse keepers from our own beautiful beacon, the St. Augustine Lighthouse. And each of the stories is seen through a keeper's eye, a keeper from that period of time. And these fellows are just relating it. So it, it's um, the history from 1513 to the present as told by three lighthouse light keepers. So, yeah. so it's a historical play. Yes it is. It's, um, I, I've tried to do it as historically accurate as I could and at the same time keep it light. Uh, there's a lot of jokes in there. There's a lot of pirate humor. You know you can't be here without Arr! somewhere in there. And, <laughs> and uh, so we, we tell a few stories and Captain Bob leads the uh, audience in a little shanty he calls it that he wrote that uh, he calls it, come up the steps of the lighthouse with me. Come up, see the lamp shine over the sea. We'll search for sailors and ships run aground. They fear they're lost, but I know they're found. <laughs> and that's the refrain that the people sing along with uh, in between the verses. So I keep it light. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So it'll be performing where and when? I'm doing it uh, this coming Saturday. Today is what? The 7th, the I seventh. believe. Next Saturday, I'm doing it at Dose Coffee and Wine at 300 San Marco Avenue. It's a delightful coffee shop owned by Julie and John Stapelli, and I do uh, many of my presentations there. Uh, folks will start coming at around 6 o'clock, and they'll order their food and drinks uh, from the menu, and then Captain Bob will take center stage at about 7.15. That's next Saturday. And then two weeks from today, on the 21st of November, I'll be um, presenting Piercing the Darkness. That's the name of this, because that's what the beacon does. It pierces the darkness. I'll be presenting it at the Palencia Club. That's 600 Palencia Club Drive here in St. Augustine. And I'll be performing it in the uh, Cordoba Room there at Palencia. And that'll be a 730 curtain at that event. All right, great. So we'll look forward to this. Uh, yeah, The Witness was a tremendous play and I, I went to a couple of places and saw the reaction of the people. So this should be a lot of fun and um, this, we'll learn a lot. Yeah, this is, this is uh, an education. It's not the same drama. The other plays that I've done are more the social issues with which we all have, for which we all have a great concern. Homelessness, the ravages of war, uh, the civil rights struggle that I believe continues to this day, and so on and so forth. But this is a little, a little lighter and a little more humorous. All right. Why? Well, thank you very much. And thank like you. Like they say, break a leg, my friend. Thank you. Okay. Three characters. I'll break three legs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs>